Guys, so today we're going to try something new with the camera. Hopefully it doesn't autofocus too much or too crazy and mind the dog in the background. But today we are going to be doing an EDC review on the Toya Knife SNS. And this little knife is <clears throat> pretty interesting. I've had it for a little while. This is also a part of that round table kind of review circle that I'm in with. And uh, I thought it would be a pretty interesting knife to take a look at because it's such a tiny little guy and with this whole knife pass around because I don't have to necessarily pay for the knives I've been a little bit more open to trying different things such as the pocket cleaver from Best Tech and really tiny little knives like this SNS things that I wouldn't normally go out and spend my own hard-earned cash on but things that I just am curious about like hey let's uh, try this thing out and let's see how it goes so anyways that is the SNS uh, by Toya Knife and or this going to be the review or this is going to be the review of the sns by toya knife and as always guys please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe so you can see more awesome videos just like this now let's jump into it so like i said okay guys so like i said this is the toya knife sns and now i'm going to be talking about some of my experience with this tiny tiny little knife this little guy right here and uh, first off, I have to say, uh, just on the materials, this is CPMS 35 VN, and it is a titanium uh, handled knife. I will say this is a little bit interesting because I've never quite had a uh, grooved titanium handled knife. Most of mine have been kind of just plain Jane uh, titanium, just slabs, things like um, my Chris Reeve Sabenza or other things like my, um, what is it? What is that? Uh, ZT-052. They're just kind of just stonewashed, you know, plain Jane, uh, you know, standard run-of-the-mill titanium. Whereas this actually has a whole bunch of micro grooves cut into it. Now, I do have to say something about this uh, handle. It's really interesting, but unfortunately, even though it is kind of cut, uh, the cut of the cut circular cut pattern in this handle is so small on a knife that's already very small that it really offers very little for traction i honestly aside from look or aesthetics that is about all this handle offers so uh, that is kind of a little bit of a downside on the ergonomics now i do want to say that the uh jimping is very good it's one of those that's cut not too aggressively but at the same time not too uselessly it does actually work very well for its job and uh, i think that it does a pretty good job at locking you in now keep in mind this is a very small knife so as far as traction ergonomics go this is primarily a three finger knife there are some ways you can hold it where you can kind of just barely get that fourth finger on there if it was down to me or if i did buy this knife i would definitely throw a lanyard back here uh to add a, act like a pinky extension like how i do on a lot of my very small uh fixed blades or kind of like micro neck knives I throw that pinky extension on there and um, that helps give it kind of that surety of that extra fourth finger however if you don't do that you will for the most part be looking at a three finger blade so overall the ergonomics are pretty good it's a really thin as you guys can see there uh, this is a very thin blade so it's it's interesting to hold on to there's not a whole lot of real estate i kind of like knives that there's a little bit more real estate in the handle but i do have to say this knife is incredibly lightweight and i will give props to toya because they actually uh, came in here and you guys can't really see it on the video but they've actually come in here and on both sides of the handle they've actually come in and milled the reverse side so not this side but the inside of the handles they've actually taken a pretty good chunk out of the titanium and milled it all the way out of both sides um, obviously except around this lock bar but they managed to make this knife insanely lightweight which is pretty crazy because this knife is already small and pretty lightweight because of its size but they've made it just that little bit more lightweight so going to the flipper action because this is a flipper frame lock just kind of like your standard titanium flipper frame lock knife um, this one so as I let the drive pass so this knife it operates pretty smoothly as you guys can see there i will say because this is such a lightweight knife you guys can see you know if you don't really give it a good hard press it will act or will not go all the way in 
so you have to or all the way into battery i should say so you do have to make sure you give it a pretty good press but the detent does help quite a bit with that this knife is good about not having an extremely hard detent i know on some of my flippers it's like they have such hard detents it makes them really unfun knives to flip but this one has a pretty good detent on it it's not too hard not too light and it's um it's strong enough to reliably get the blade flipped out without any wrist action or any wrist throw and so you guys can see there but like i said just bear in mind that if you don't give it a good flick you know like a good solid flick uh you can accidentally well not accidentally but sorry not flick it into battery so you know it'll kind of just go out like this so you got to make sure you give it a meaningful flip like that so anyways that's basically all i have to say on that all the flipping action it's smooth as far as the lockup goes there's no blade play the <clears throat> as far as this one uh, as far as this one's lockup goes it's pretty early this does of course use like most of these Chinese frame locks this one does use a stainless steel I'm not exactly sure what it is but some kind of stainless steel lock bar insert which also acts as an over travel uh, precaution so there's no way you can bend this uh, little frame lock out too far so that's always nice I will say too another thing that I kind of like is it seems to have a or it doesn't seem but it has a light green almost kind of bluish but it looks more greenish to me but like a very light kind of almost tealish almost like my shirt color uh, anodization on the clip and on this little backspacer back here and so it's just a very subtle it's a really kind of rough look to it and I think it kind of suits this knife well because without it you get just a lot of gray because the handles are gray the blade is pretty gray so it kind of helps just not too much not to be too crazy but just kind of give it that little bit of splash of color to make it look pretty great so if you are looking for a pretty cool EDC blade uh, that's small and lightweight. I would definitely give the SNS a look over. What I kind of like about it is it is only like a hundred bucks. It might be a hundred bucks and some change, but it's only around a hundred bucks for this blade and it works pretty well. Just consider that, keep in mind, this is about how big the blade is. So if you guys can see there, it is a very tiny blade. But it, like I said, it is out of CPMS 35 VN, so some good blade steel. Um, another thing that is interesting about this knife, I'm not completely sold, and I've never really been completely sold about this on knives, is recurve. This knife has a pretty heavy recurve to it, so it has pretty notable recurve right there, which can be helpful on a smaller blade like this because with your slashing cuts, you don't have a lot of blade room like i mean this blade's about two and a half inches so you don't have a whole lot of blade length so it's nice when the, what you're cutting gets kind of funneled all into one area so that i think is why they chose to go with a recurve however though as we know the sharpeners um recurves are bad for two reasons because one because it's channeling all the wear to basically one area that means that that one area on your blade is going to go dull faster and secondly recurves are also harder to sharpen on fixed angle sharpeners and other such sharpeners so it kind of creates that issue with that but it's a pretty good blade shape overall like i said for what they're considering doing given the fact that this is only like a two and a half inch blade length so anyways guys that's basically all i have to say on the toya knife sns i've been pretty impressed this is my first toya just as that was my first best tech and overall these chinese products you know i've had riates in the past and i've had uh kaisers in the past as you guys who've been around the channel for a little while know so i've this is not my first run-in with chinese nut Chinese manufactured knives that are more high-end and I am seeing a really consistent trend that these little guys are you know they're really reasonably priced but at the same time they're also pretty good quality I mean this thing is running on ball bearing you know pivot here and it's s35 VN blade you know which is a great steel and you know it's titanium handles milled 
and it's really nice overall I think my really only complaint aside from you know like the personal size discrepancy is probably just this pocket clip and what I found is I wear uh, Carhartt uh, cargo pants and on these particular pants they have two layers where you put your pocket clips of your knives to help reduce wear and what I've noticed is with this blade in particular or with this knife in particular that double layer kind of causes the clip to sit kind of swollen like this so it kind of like sits up like this and it kind of does not increase my confidence on this knife not falling out of my pocket so that's kind of my biggest issue with it but other than that but other than that it's a pretty great knife I mean for what you consider here I mean it's a small knife so like I said it's not in my personal preference of blade length but it's not bad at the same time. So anyways, guys, that's all I have to say on the Toya Knife SNS. And as always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.